Sid Roth here. Welcome to my world where it's naturally supernatural. Most of the prophetic people I know are saying we are coming into a season of breakthrough, and I agree with them. But my guests have found there are blockages to breakthrough, and they're so simple, but this generation doesn't understand them. He wants to teach them to you. So why? So you'll have a breakthrough. Is there a supernatural dimension, a world beyond the one we know? Is there life after death? Do angels exist? Can our dreams contain messages from heaven? Can we tap into ancient secrets of the supernatural? Are healing miracles real? Sid Roth has spent over 35 years researching the strange world of the supernatural. Join Sid for this edition of It's Supernatural. Uh, no, you're not seeing double. <laughs> These are twin brothers, twin prophets, uh, Hakeem and Naeem Collins. And uh, when you're young kids, you, uh, your grandmother uh, takes you to church, and both of you saw the same thing. What did you guys see? We both saw an angel of the Lord standing behind our pastor. Now, the pastor uh, is a Baptist pastor. He's blind. Now, the strange thing about this is that he's blind, but at a young age, God begins to open up our spiritual eyes and begin to see this angel behind him. Not only that, but God began to also save us on the same day. We begin to give our life to Jesus the same day. How ironic is that, that God will make us twins, but also on the same day we have give our oh, lives to guys, Jesus. You guys do everything together. And, and uh, a man that uh, was a friend of mine that's now in heaven, his name is Bob Jones. He was a senior prophet. Yes. And he taught you how to activate the gifts that you have. Was that very important at that time in your life? It was very important. One, because we were young and we were, you know, again, yeah, our you're family. Old men now. We're, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but we didn't have anyone that actually groomed us in the prophetic. They didn't actually help us in that and tell us what this was or what was a prophet. Again, our upbringing wasn't sure. from a Christian family or home, but we needed someone to really guide us. And so Bob Jones was instrumental in helping, activating, and bringing us to another level of how to hear Abba's voice and, and to engage the heavenly realm. Now, Naeem, your gift operates strange, <laughs> different than your brother's. Yes. You have all of your spiritual senses activated. Uh, give me an example what, yeah. what that means. Yes, sir. Um, yeah, Bob Jones was very instrumental, especially in activating the prophetic, because I know most times people think uh, prophets or prophecy, and they always think, thus saith the Lord, you're speaking it or through mm -hmm. visions or dreams. Uh, but when he activated uh, my brother and I in uh, the prophetic, it was just in the seal realm. And most times we think seal realm is just visual, but, right. yes. but he activated something, something exploded in the both of us. And one of the areas that God had activated through uh, Bob Jones was the ability to smell in the spirit. And so um, one time I was in a meeting, Sid, and I was praying uh, for uh, people. I called him to the altar and was praying for people. And I, all of a sudden, my sense of smell was activated. It's opened up to another level that I've never experienced before. And it was like Jesus was now walking me how to walk person through deliverance. And so I come across this lady and um, I, I smelled this very foul, pungent smell. It was almost smell, almost like rotten eggs or some sewage smell. And, uh, and I started- I'm glad I don't have that. <laughs> <laughs> and so, <laughs> so it was like having this conversation between my senses, my natural senses, saying something might have died in here. But what the Holy Spirit was revealing to me that there was something in her was dying. 
that she was dying from a terminal illness and, and then as I was praying for the Lord re revealed that it was cancer. Yes. But this particular cancer wasn't just a regular cancer, it was a bloodline cancer. And it was, cancer. It was something in the bloodline, God. it was something generational. And, and so the um, I had to pray for her yes, and as I was praying for her, I couldn't break it. I couldn't break through. Um, I tried to prophesy, it didn't break through. Um, so the Holy Spirit says you, there is something generational, there's something in her family that was a door that opened up mm -hmm. for cancer to be in that entire generation. And so what she received was an inheritance of cancer, generational, that needed to be broken. And so at that moment, I, um, I had to then uh, ask her, listen, I need you to, to begin to stand in the gap for whoever opened up the door in your family yes. for this cancer to reap havoc. And, and so the Lord began to reveal that it was her grandmother and her grandmother went through some abuse and there was some bitterness and there was some strife there uh, from that abusive relationship. Okay, and then the uh, once she repented and stood in the gap for her grandmother and and prayed for the abuse, for prayed for the unforgiveness, Unthinked prayed for the strife. All of a sudden, that sense of smell of the rotten eggs or that, that uh, sewer smell broke. And literally, that's when I began to smell the presence of the yeah, Lord. You know, I was kidding. I, I, I have to tell you, I was kidding with him a minute ago. I said, I wish I didn't have that gift. But when I found out how it operated, yeah. God, strike that. I want that gift. <laughs> <laughs> OK, now, and, and, and uh, Hakeem, your gift operates different. Yes. You see uh, words on top of people. Yes. I think that is an amazing gift. I'll tell you what, when we come back, you hit on it already, but there are blockages to the season of blessing that we're in, where all promises are going to come to pass, and we want to get rid of those blockages. We'll be right back. <laughs> We'll be right back to It's Supernatural! The Supernatural knows no bounds, and now there are no limits to equipping you to receive your Supernatural breakthrough anytime, any place. ISN, the It's Supernatural online network, offers live streaming of programs 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, right on your mobile devices or smart TVs. I love that I can watch my favorite shows anytime I want. My workouts are out of the box, and so are my ISN podcasts. Download the free ISN app today. We now return to It's Supernatural. And, and so Naeem was telling me uh, just during that break uh, that he then got a further report on that woman with cancer. What did you find out? Yes, uh, later on uh, said, um, I got an email from the relative of the lady that I had prayed for in the meeting. Uh, well, she said, you didn't know, actually, that um, she was dealing with stage four cancer. And what you sensed by the Holy Spirit was, uh, was on point. And she said, I just wanted to let you know to confirm that when she went back to the doctors, the doctor had um, confirmed that she was totally healed. They could not find, it wasn't in remission. Um, and in fact, she went to a second opinion yeah. Um, because the first doctor, she wanted to make sure that this right. report was sure and it was accurate, and so she went to two other opinions, and they then confirmed that she, that cancer was totally eradicated and destroyed off her life. Wow. Now, Hakeem, people look at both of you and you look happy and everything, but you went to a season where your prayers were being blocked and you you couldn't uh, figure out what was going on, so you went into prayer and fasting. And what did God show you? Well, one of the things that God showed me was that there are spiritual blockages. There are spiritual hindrances that keep us from really moving towards our prophetic destiny. And so one of the patterns that I found was that whenever I get a prophetic word or a prophecy, or there is a dream that God has placed in my heart, or there is a vision that I know that God had given me, uh, usually right after that prophecy or after that dream or after that vision, what happens is there will be this sudden attack. The enemy will always, when there is a true prophecy or there is a true word or something that you're believing God, what happens is right after that word is released, um, there is an onslaught of attacks that is released. And so I found myself in this cycle. I found myself in this pattern where I was, I was finding myself like, I couldn't get ahead. I found myself three steps forward, and then next, I'm like six steps back. And so what God began to show me in the season of fasting and prayer is that there are 
there are enemies against your, pre- your prophecy. There is enemy against your destiny. And so God reminded me of Paul when he charged his son Timothy. He said he had to remind him of the prophecy that was spoken over him. And he says, wage a good warfare. In other words, we have to use our prophecy as a weapon against the enemy. And how do you do that? How, 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 do, how do, do you do exactly what he said? Use our prophecy as a weapon. I like that against our enemy. Well, it's the Word of God. You know, we know that the Word of God is a sure word of prophecy. Right. Even if you never receive a prophecy or a rhema word, but you can, you can believe God at His Word, and you can use it as a sword and as a weapon against what the enemy is saying. So if the enemy says, there, you, you know, you will never fulfill your destiny, you have to now reverse it. There's a power of reversal in your mouth. We have to use our, our prophecy as a weapon and say, this is what God said. I believe what God said, and it shall happen. We have, the Bible says, Says, what we shall decree a thing, it shall be established. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Here's what I want you to do right now. Yes. I want you to decree whatever God shows you for blessing over the people that are watching. Sure. We know that a decree is an official order by those who have legal authority. And I prophesy right now over those who are watching right now. My brother talked about the curse and, and he talked about the woman that had this, the, the cancer. But I decree and declare right now, those who are sick mentally, those who are sick, uh, uh, physically sick, those who are financially and, uh, and, and hindered, I prophesy and decree and declare that this is a season of breakthrough. I decree and declare that you shall arise from that sick bed. You shall take up your bed and walk. I decree and declare that the glory, the healing glory of God's power is being released right now. I decree and declare that you will no longer stay stumped. I decree and declare and I command that you are made whole by the power and the, and the word that is spoken right now. I decree and declare that even I see this woman right now that has, that's been praying for her son who is in jail. And the Lord is saying today, he is going to be released. He said, I am vindicating. I'm releasing. I see the, I see the, the cell opening right now. I hear the Lord saying in this season that that jail cell is opening and I'm releasing my angels right now that is releasing your loved one. I decree and declare that this is no longer be a season of setback. This will no longer be a season of delay, but you will accelerate. I prophesy, I command that you will arise and be great in your generation. And I even would say that even the Lord says that even where the word of the king is, there is power. And so as we decree thing, we establish that even over your life, whatever situation that you're in, whatever situation that looks like it is hopeless, we now decree and we just turn around everything. We prophesy that this is the season of your turnaround. We prophesy this is the season of your comeback. We move every block. We remove every hurdle. We speak to every mountain. We decree that is be thou removed now in the name of Jesus. We decree and declare that we overrule and override and we veto every demonic legislation against your life, against your family, and we break every generational curse that has been spoken over your life and we release it now in Jesus' mighty name. Now, I'm going to tell you, the presence of God is so awesome on this set right now. All things are possible. When we come back, there's something that so few believers understand that is totally hindering the blessings of God and the destiny of God in your life. We'll be right back. We'll be right back to It's Supernatural. Call now and get Hakeem Collins' brand new book and Hakeem and Naeem's anointed three-part audio CD teaching set, Prophetic Breakthrough, exclusive for our It's Supernatural audience. Learn how to declare decrees that will break curses and release God's blessings. Yours for a donation of $35. Shipping and handling is included. Ask for offer number 9510. Through Hakeem Collins' brand new book, you will understand that sickness, guilt, and shame are all obstacles to God's glorious purpose for your life. Learn how to Fight for your abundance by speaking truth against the enemy's lies. Find out how to break curses and begin to release blessings. Discover invisible barriers and restrictions. Begin to decree what's rightfully yours. Hakeem has included prophetic breakthrough decrees and declarations for you to read aloud with authority that will break demonic curses and release heaven's answers of breakthrough for you. Also included is Hakeem and Naeem's anointed three-part audio CD teaching series. Through what Hakeem teaches in his lesson, Breaking 
Unlocking the Power of Curses. You will learn what curses are and where they come from. Recognize the signs of curses operating in your life. Identify the origins of curses that war against your prophetic destiny. Learn how to remove and break bloodline curses. In Hakeem and Naeem's lesson, Removing Ungodly Soul Ties, you will discover what soul ties are. Learn how soul ties are formed. Understand the origin of soul ties and soul agreements. Find out five steps to breaking and removing ungodly soul ties. In the final message, Keys to Breaking Spiritual Limitations, you will learn how to partner with heaven to get results. Receive keys to breaking spiritual stagnation and restrictions for success. Possess supernatural faith required to make the impossible possible. Identify faith barriers and blockages to receive your breakthrough. Learn how to wage war over your prophecy and prophetic promise. Don't miss out on getting Hakeem Collins' brand new book and Hakeem and Naeem's anointed three-part audio CD teaching set, Prophetic Breakthrough, exclusive for our It's Supernatural audience. Learn how to declare decrees that will break curses and release God's blessings. Yours for a donation of $35. Shipping and handling is included. Ask for offer number 9510. Call or you can send your check to Sid Roth, It's Supernatural, P.O. Box 39222, Charlotte, North Carolina, 28278. Please specify offer number 9510 or log on to SidRoth.org. Call or write today. We now return to It's Supernatural. Uh, so, okay, so Naeem, uh, what's the word Naeem mean, by the way? Uh, my name Naeem, it's an, it's an, the root name is in Arabic. It means peacemaker. It means one who is tranquil, uh, one who is stable. Uh, <laughs> well, Hakeem, is, is he a peacemaker and tranquil, except when he fights with you? Yes, he definitely is. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let, let me ask you this, because so few understand this, uh, and, and that is soul ties. Hakeem. Yes. What is a soul tie? And give me some examples. Well, a soul tie is basically a mutual um, bonding or knitting or tithe of the soul. It has to be two parties that are coming together um, in agreement. And so a soul tie can also be um, something financial. You can have a financial soul tie. Um, you know, soul ties are established verbally, um, contractually. So I, I, I think in terms when I hear that uh, someone had a intimate relationship before they were married and they say, well, I guess it's over. But that can be affecting them even today. Exactly. You know, a sexual uh, encounter can establish a soul tie. And so, but biblically, when we think about a covenant, a legal soul tie um, is established by a man and a woman in marriage. But there are those who have been in past relationships who may have moved on to a new relationship and, and they're feeling the effects uh, or the trauma from that past one, even though they have a new one. And so sometimes we have to break and sever those, those past or even present soul ties and soul agreements because they have... A, impacted our lives now. There are those who are now in new relationships that are, that are affected by hurt, abuse, verbal abuse, um, all of those things that have happened because of what is established in the past. It, it just keeps rolling on and on. It's and a cycle. Unless you know how to break that cycle, yes. you're in trouble. You, you know, another thing the Bible talks specifically about how bad uh, uh, a sexual sin outside of marriage is. And do you know why it's so bad? Because you become one with that party, and every demon they have has legal access to enter you. I mean, that's why it's, it's, it's not that God's trying to hurt you. He's trying to help you by letting you know this. Yes. Now, tell me about a blockage involving uh, financial, that financial website. Well, that's where I got a revelation from the Lord because I found in my own finances, and I, I worked in banking for some time, for seven years, and so me working in banking, I felt like I had an anointing of jo uh, Joseph, <laughs> but I didn't, I didn't I see the didn't manifestation. I prison for all of it. Right. I didn't see the manifestation, so I'm like, well, God, I just got a new job. I, I, I get paid well, but I was finding some patterns. There was these, these I felt like there was holes in my pocket. I, you know, it was like I was sewing, I was tithing, I was doing the best that I can. I was open 
obeying the word of God, but naturally and financially, I was hitting a wall. And so the Lord gave me a vision when I went into a, uh, a season of fasting. The Lord literally gave me a vision, and in this vision, I saw a web. This web had the, all of the jobs, the names of the jobs, the previous jobs that I had, the names were on them, on this web, mm -hmm. every name. And so they were stuck. And so as I was praying and God showed me this web, then I literally saw these papers that were coming down from heaven and on them were contracts and they had debt on them. And my signature was on these, these contracts that were coming down, they were invoices, debt. I had to break and sever those old contracts that I had with human resources, the jobs that went in bankruptcy, the jobs that merged, the jobs that had financial or legal issues were impacting my finances, mm -hmm. even though I was moved on to a new employment, but spiritually it was impacting me. So I had to sever and cut those webs, those cords, those those soul agreements because my my signature was on those those documents when I when that job went in bankruptcy. And so I was finding holes in my finances. Once I got that revelation. God began to now show me how to break it, sever the soul agreement. I repented. I stood in a gap. And right after that, I saw instantaneously miracles financially. My credit score went up 160 points. Uh, I saw checks that were coming in the mail out of nowhere. There were even jobs that I, I applied for five and six years ago. They were calling me, emailing me. This was a time where I believe that God will give me the revelation to break the soul agreement so that I can prosper. And so even those who are watching right now. I just sense that you felt like you're in a, a financial dilemma. You felt like you, 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 you've been stuck, you've been tied, and you've been getting... By the way, I've, I've, I've just heard there are people watching that everything they invest in goes sour. Oh. Everything. Everything. Go, but pray for them too. Even your investments, even if you got stocks and you got bonds and things that you have, you have saved and, and you got CDs or you have uh, money market accounts or you have even an inheritance. The enemy wants to rob you of your inheritance and the blessings that God desires for you to walk in. And I break right now every illegal soul time, every illegal agreement that has been established, every old job that merged or went out of business that went in bankruptcy that are impacting you. I break its agreement. I I break its influence. I break its power. I decree and declare that this will be the season when you will find prophetic breakthrough, but financial breakthrough. You're going to begin to see supernatural wealth being released in your life. You're going to begin to see things happen because of those old re past relationships that, that has affected you. I break you from the past. I break you from the hurt. I break you from the trauma. I break you free. Today, this is your day of liberty. This is your day you're being set free. This is the day you're accelerating. This is the day I declare and decree that this is your see season a breakthrough. Receive it today. Real quick before we go off yes. there, you told me something that God showed you about the blessings connected with Israel and the embassy. Explain. Yes, God gave me a vision um, in prayer concerning America and its relationship with Israel. And one of the things that God, God showed me is there was going to be, um, the embassy was going to definitely move back to Jerusalem. And I saw that transfer taking place. Once that began to take place, we're going to begin to see uh, one of the greatest revivals and one of the greatest awakening, not only for America, for, for the world. I believe that there is a tipping point and God is raising raising up millennials. He's raising up young people. He's raising up the young generation. There is a tidal wave of God's glory is about to be released right now. And even as I'm talking to Sid, but even those that are watching right now, you're a millennial, you, even the older and seasoned generation, get ready. There is a merging that's coming together. There is an explosion. There's a tidal wave of God's glory that's about to be released. I'm telling you, there is a prophetic breakthrough. The blessings of the Lord will make it rich and ask no sorrow. I break every sorrow. I break every trauma. Get ready. This is your season where you're about to experience experience the miracle glory. Some of you have been waiting on God, but God says the wait and the delay is over. I break every curse. I break every soul agreement. This is your time. Get ready for prophetic breakthrough. And I even would say that even as those that are watching, I say that son and daughter of the Lord said this will be the season of prophetic breakthrough. The Lord says that this will be the season that you are not just going to be anointed, but the Lord says, but my glory is about to converge, and you're about to see the presence of God like you've never known. Get ready for there is a global awakening that's going to start in your house and there's going to be a supernatural currency of God's power, his thrust, his presence. You're about to see the supernatural creative miracles were about to be your portion. Creative miracles. You're going to see limbs grow. You're going to see eyes begin to grow. You're going to see things change around about you. Get ready because God said this glory is coming upon you, not for this age, but for ages to come. Get ready. Receive it now in Jesus' mighty name. And, and, and I have to... <laughs> 
I got one word for you. Breakthrough! Yeah. Did you know that God wants to answer your prayers? He wants to heal you, bless you, and give you favor and supernatural peace. So why is it many of us aren't experiencing the breakthroughs we truly desire? The enemy uses curses to rob us of abundant life. Now, Hakeem and Naeem Collins want to tell you how to lay claim to your blessings by breaking the enemy's power once and for all. One of the breakthroughs that you will receive is number one, financial breakthrough. You also will receive healing breakthrough, psychological breakthrough mental breakthrough. This is your season, I believe. Call now and get Hakeem Collins' brand new book and Hakeem and Naeem's anointed three-part audio CD teaching set, Prophetic Breakthrough, exclusive for our It's Supernatural audience. Learn how to declare decrees that will break curses and release God's blessings. Yours for a donation of $35. Shipping and handling is included. Ask for offer number 9510. Through Hakeem Collins' brand new book, you will understand that sickness, guilt, and shame are all obstacles to God's glorious purpose for your life. Learn how to fight for your abundance by speaking truth against the enemy's lies. Find out how to break curses and begin to release blessings. Discover invisible barriers and restrictions. Break generational curses and demonic strongholds. Begin to decree what's rightfully yours. Hakeem has included prophetic breakthrough decrees and declarations for you to read aloud with authority that will break demonic curses and release heaven's answers of breakthrough for you. The Bible says whatsoever you you decree a thing, so shall it be established. So as you decree a thing, so shall things be established on your behalf. Also included is Hakeem and Naeem's anointed three-part audio CD teaching series. Through what Hakeem teaches in his lesson, Breaking the Power of Curses, you will learn what curses are and where they come from. Recognize the signs of curses operating in your life. Understand how to break the power of a curse. Identify the origins of curses that war against your prophetic destiny. Learn how to remove and break bloodline curses. In Hakeem and Naeem's lesson, Removing Ungodly Soul Ties, you will discover what soul ties are, learn how soul ties are formed, understand the origin of soul ties and soul agreements, find out five steps to breaking and removing ungodly soul ties. In the final message, Keys to Breaking Spiritual Limitations, you will learn how to partner with heaven to get results, receive keys to breaking spiritual stagnation and restrictions for success, possess supernatural faith required to make the impossible Possible, possible. Identify faith barriers and blockages to receive your breakthrough. Learn how to wage war over your prophecy and prophetic promise. The new book and the exclusive three CD set, Prophetic Breakthrough, that's what's going to happen in your life. Out of your own mouth, you're going to have a prophetic supernatural breakthrough. Don't miss out on getting Hakeem Collins' brand new book and Hakeem and Naeem's anointed three-part audio CD teaching set, Prophetic Breakthrough, exclusive for our It's Supernatural audience. Learn how to declare decrees that will break curses and release God's blessings. Yours for a donation of $35. Shipping and handling is included. Ask for offer number 9510. Call or you can send your check to Sid Roth. It's Supernatural, P.O. Box 39222, Charlotte, North Carolina, 28278. Please specify offer number 9510 or log on to SidRoth.org. Call or write today. Next week on It's Supernatural. Hello, I am Leif Hetland. Are you facing some giants in your life? Financial problems? What about sickness, fear? Well, get ready, because on the next It's Supernatural with Sid Roth, we're about to slay some giants. Don't miss it.